new Clash of Clans update brings the Builder's Apprentice to help speed your progress alongside numerous other additions. Let's begin. What's up, everybody? The CEO, the moneymaker. And we're going to be checking out the new Apprentice Builder, guys. Is this builder going to replace the annoying, pestering goblin builders we all ate, guys? Let's jump on into the video, guys. I'll be reacting to Judo's thoughts. First sneak peek update video, uh, Apprentice Warden. Links down in the description. Let's go down into the video. The new Clash of Clans update brings the Builder's Apprentice to help speed your progress alongside numerous other additions. Let's begin with the Builder's Apprentice since it is the biggest change. Yes. There is no building. Ain't gonna lie, she looks it bad, bro. My nigga, that's a man to your town hall so when you okay. highlight the town hall you will see the builder's apprentice button it is okay. actually available starting at town hall 10 but it I'll is only so. available for the home village you can't assign it to the builder nobody cares about the builder base. the builder's apprentice or helps would... builders complete upgrades faster so okay. you can now right kind of put multiple builders on a building it's assigned to work on an upgrade once per day once it's fully rested so there is okay. a cooldown period you will Who's see 23 hours one hour that day or you can level him up it's He's important to note so that he... builder potions do not apply to the builder's apprentice so can i use the builder potion use, but he and also uh... cannot bind to the forge now much like okay. the regular builders it will cost gems in order to unlock the 500 gems 500 gems uh, and once you unlock the is it a dude or a girl i don't know to use him but you can him. also upgrade it so that he works more effectively okay i'm not sure if clash of clans have any plans to sell oh, this at just one hour shop, but if they do and you plan on purchasing it remember you can support a creator beforehand using their code my code okay. is judo and it is very much i always use your code judo thank you for the videos is ready to work you will have a little pop-up on top of your town hall okay that's what i was wondering do you have to check every 23 hours once you have it it does not cost anything to use it so as okay. an example if i begin to upgrade the monolith i can either assign the apprentice builder from this building or okay. what is easier is within the apprentice builders menu it shows you all of the buildings you have currently upgraded okay. does that just only take one hour off though the builder to does it only take to. i don't how does it work for one hour and at level one his working speed is one it will essentially save me one hour on this upgrade okay we'll tell you in real time how much time you okay i was wondering because i need to know that this builder is even over there hammering away to help out oh the 3d animation is sick of working he will have a 23 hour cooldown meaning okay. you can use the apprentice builder once per day much like the clock tower in the builder base okay Fast so it's basically a clock tower for us for real build. once the builder is ready to work again you could assign him to the same building but this same process can happen again and again okay. you can however level up the apprentice builder but this will cost more i wonder what the so max amount is costs another 500 gems 500. this will double the working speed Speed, so okay, that so he is two hours saving you two hours that's a good i ain't gonna lie to even though it's three, expensive he's pretty good three times for 750 gems and this continues each time you level the apprentice three hours up. what's level the maximum another 750 gems but then the price goes up to that's one thousand gems around the cost a to win baby to supercell and the response was that this unlocks at town hall 10 where magic items get you less value and it's not necessarily intended as something to upgrade all of the way to maxed straight away it's more as you're gaining gems throughout playing the game it's not bad for real though it's not the worst kind of i wish it wasn't gems on investment over time as you're playing will be greater than I, I don't wish it was gems shop. but it's smart because it, it's gonna get it's good instant gratification you do from that of a magic item so i do it's not, but i think it's in the right step yeah i think it's in the right step it's really expensive it will be one thousand gems each level up to the maximum of level eight all right so eight hours your apprentice builder the builder's apprentice i keep calling it apprentice builder because apprentice of the apprentice builder. warden but to get your builder's apprentice 
up to that top level, it is 6,500 gems in total. Ooh, that's a lot of gems, baby. When you compare it to other things like builders themselves, but I guess this Ooh. is something that's intended to just upgrade over time. And once you do get it to I maximum don't think, level, I don't think you should max it out that you right away. this and save eight hours on an upgrade. Try not to assign the apprentice builder to an upgrade that is shorter than the time you would save because okay. any excess time would be lost. Okay. You can only assign him to one building per day. Once that upgrade completes, he goes into cooldown mode. I'm sure some people will be happy about this. Other people might not like it. I, I like it. I like it. I think it's a step in the right way. I think it's a step in the right way. I'd say there are two other main additions. Let's go over my favorite now. But then there are some other quality of life changes and some pretty big cost reductions as well. The biggest Ooh, my addition, favorite. though, to me is the tactical overview. So normally what? when you're scouting a base for those 30 seconds... Can you actually you click on the base? With anything. It's There's no like way you can actually click on the base. base. Before you start to attack and you can check ranges of defenses. Now you can do that in the 30 seconds that you're scouting a That's base, so which is sick. massive. When I love that, bro. Multiplayer. They're making the game more tactical and I love it. Highlight all of the defenses of that okay, type. Okay, so that's can see that's the sick. Across the map. So I can know where to attack. Tell you what level those defenses are. Whether it is single target Inferno Tower. Or I love that. I love that. I always used to hate how I got to look if it's multi or not. So very helpful. Even though when it I comes to quickly trying to identify as well, how though. you want to attack. Also very helpful. You will be able to see how many Clan Castle. What? That's really. I no, that that's really helpful you're going up against defending troops or not it will show the hero they're turning it into war activation range clans players are eating well favorite is when they're it comes it up baby resource buildings this is going to be massive for farming when you click a storage or even a collector it what? will tell you how much loot you can no steal way no way so whenever you're farming to is gonna out, be so easy now bro those gold mines now you can just bro farming is gonna be so out. easy just now so you know should there not be any loot you can steal it will purely just have the name of the building i just think that okay. is such a great addition especially because it highlights all of the defenses of a certain type i'd even love to be able to do that when scouting bases for war but let me know yeah, what i you think they're gonna add it to war too get hard mode hard added mode. to clash of clans now this has been a pretty big problem especially since the addition of town hall 16 because okay. there is such a skill gap in the game between the pros who play clash of clans professionally and your casual player or even your above average yes, player the players. skill gap Losers. is just so huge with the addition of hard mode only in the home village for friendly battles or okay. for friendly wars you can select this difficulty clash of clans what does this do this is a work in progress what does it do defenses deal five percent more okay. damage and attacking heroes have 10 percent less hit points as okay. well as dealing 15 percent wow I'll be interested so now you gotta actually have a good attack if you do with these hard modes these are good way to train guys and get better you know that you know that one just want to highlight the I want clan member that sucks and time reductions that are they being applied in hard mode. with this update because it will help to speed up our progress massively especially because clash of clans are aiming for a new town hall level every 12 months but okay. i really wanted to mention this now because in some cases there are some huge reductions i think it is mainly because of the merged defenses but for an example the archer tower to level 21 alongside the cannon to level 21 was mm -hmm. previously 13 days and six hours oh, to upgrade what is it now including any gold pass perks however following this update they will be 10 days five days what Talk about a reduction, bro. That's basically able to see. But whilst everything is not as big of a decrease, there bro, are some huge sick, reductions. Bro. Even the storages have a fifty percent 
time reduction on what they previously were. I love a, I love the direction Classic Lands is going in. Reductions that we are receiving. So a big thumbs up on that to help people speeding up through their progress, especially since they're planning to add more town halls more frequently. But the quality okay. of life changes. I don't know whether it's bad that my favorite one is actually being able to reorder. Your I need your this. So that Bro, your this is the this is my favorite too. Oh, I need this. Have a pop-up notification on the black i need that bro to be able to organize my village bro the amount of time so of i've clicked on the wrong resources there are a couple ID. of other quality of life changes alongside That's bug fixes that i will pop on your screen God, now but be sure to subscribe because we do have another sneak peek coming up and Stuart, the general manager for clash of clans has said that they are aiming for the update june 17th so my thoughts on that video is Classic Lens is going in the right direction. First, I love the idea of how they're reducing everything. That is amazing. I think we do need that. The game was a bit stale and takes too long. The Apprentice Builder, Builder Apprentice, is a great addition too because now players that are at a, high, are at a higher town hall, like town hall 16, town hall 15, uh, town hall 14, these guys will be forced to log on every day to get the value out of that Apprentice Builder. So W, move up by supercell right there guys i also love the the ability of the tactical um overview now in war so now you won't feel like you're just looking at a base wondering i think that if there's cc troops there or not now you'll know and i think that's a huge benefit because the amount of times i've attacked bases like oh there's no clan castle troop clan castle troop comes out boom my army's gone but guys let me know what's your favorite part of this update guys uh, make sure to go check out Judo's video if you haven't. And make sure to hit that like button. And subscribe, baby. I'm out of here. Peace. Look, I did be mobbing. Bitch, we came up from the bottom. Can't even say the trenches. I guess we had it good until they knocked out of the